Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is something a little different. I thought I would do a color with me. So this is out of the, what book is this? This is Faye, F-A-Y-E. So before I even start, the three pencils I'm using for the background, which is what I'm gonna be coloring in this video, are Prismacolor, 1008, which is Parma Violet, 934 Lavender, and 993 Hot Pink. And this is a pencil sharpener. I bought a, an electric pencil sharpener on recommendation from someone's YouTube video I watched, and it works really well. It gets them very, um, the point really good. But Prismacolors are wax-based pencils, and they are, are very soft. So if you're coloring like a large area, especially like background, it's very easy to use up a pencil. Like I had to buy two other flesh colored pencils because I almost used all of them. So what I do when I color something is I normally pick three pencils, a dark, a medium, a light. <clears throat> and in this case, that's what I did. So I am starting with the darkest color on the outside, then the medium, then the lightest on the inside. And how I do it is I will do light layers. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but the darkest pencil, I try to hold the pencil back farther. See how I'm holding it back? I will hold it back far like that because it puts less pressure on the pencil, if that makes sense. And you'll see as I go along, I will put more and more pressure. So I like to do the background in sections. I like to really do anything in sections because I don't want to forget what colors I laid down where. So this book, let me try to... Let me try, I know it's like Curious Creatures and something. I'm going to look it up here in a second. I'm looking it up right now. Let's see. She's on the cover of the book. So I know I can, I'll be able to see it almost instantly. Just bear with me one second. Yeah, obviously I'm doing a voiceover. I filmed this earlier today, the coloring part. Okay, no, I'm wrong. It's called Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures. And I have the Artist Edition book, which is spiral bound and it is very good paper. This is the best paper that I've found in coloring books and it takes the pencils really, really well. Now, there are certain spots in here that I'm probably going to use gel pen, like for the vines of the leaves, I picked out a green gel pen, glitter one. I'm probably going to do that for that. I like to use gel pen when I can on certain little accents, but um, you'll see the, um, the background winds up, what I color during this video winds up turning out really good. Okay, so yesterday... I did not do any more stitching or coloring after I did the video and work has just been, um, our schedule has just been really changing here the past couple days. So I've had a lot of stuff, a lot of finagling to do and all of that, but hopefully we will be getting back on track. Thursday, I have my um, breast MRI that uh, the surgeon wanted me, wants me to get done every two years. So I'm doing that on Thursday morning. I have to be there at 7.30. The MRI is at 8 because if I'm working, I want to have it done before work because it takes a good, I'll be in there an hour because they do it with contrast. So they have to give me an IV. So I'll have to drink lots and lots of water that day because they want you to flush out that stuff. But I'll just be glad to have it done because I literally have had like paperwork of my past like MRI results. I've had it sitting on my desk for like six months. So I will be really glad to have that done and out of the way. 
So today I did not have a job, but I did have some stuff to do for work. I had an, an, to index a job, and which is I had to put like the exhibit descriptions in there and things like that. So I had to do that and then managing the calendar and I still have to prep for tomorrow's job. So I will do that after I do this video, but I wanted to get this filmed before Bill got home. So I had some questions on my last video. Someone, and I realized that people, not everybody watches every video, new people come in. I've had a couple people ask me recently, you're not diamond painting anymore. No, I'm not. Um, not that I'll never go back to it. I haven't diamond painted in probably a year. And I just lost interest in it, just like anything else. And I'm not gonna make myself do something that I don't am not liking. Um, when I did my decluttering, I have kept 10 diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. Those are the only ones I have. Um, so I'll get back to it someday, I'm guessing. Just I'm enjoying cross-stitching very much, which is always going to be my first love of crafting. And I've been enjoying coloring again. So yeah, because I'm a Patreon member of Hannah Lynn, where I am like the best tier she has, which is like the artist VIP. Um, I get two free coloring books a month by doing that. And I get all of the free pages that she puts out for her Patreon members. What's nice is when she ships the physical coloring book, because I get a PDF and a hard copy. When she ships out the hard copy book, she also puts all of the free pages that she's done through the month, which is normally two or three. She prints them on the good artist paper and puts those and sends those to me too. So yeah, it's very, very exciting. I love her artwork. Absolutely just love, love, love it. Okay, and then someone asked me, why don't I use Color Street for my nails anymore? Before I tell you the story, because many of you who have been here for the channel know the story, Color Street is a wonderful product. It is probably the best nail strip that I've ever used. And not saying that I'll never use it again. Absolutely not. Um, they have great designs. Their glitter ones are awesome. I absolutely love, and it's real nail polish, so it's fantastic. So when I started using Color Street, I was using the Impress Nails and I wanted something else that wasn't like glue, adhesive. you know what I mean? I, I wanted something like that. And I had seen a fellow floss tuber using Color Street in her video and I'm like, dude, I have to try that. I'd never heard of it. So I went to this consultant site, bought some, absolutely loved it. I even did a video when I first got them trying them out and I was just in love. And so I had so many people after I did that video and showing my nails in future videos, I had so many people ask me, who's my consultant? Where do I get these? That I started linking my consultant's Facebook page. She has like a VIP group and also her um, website that you could order directly from. So, okay. So I did that in every video for like two or three years. That's how long I wore them. So fast forward to, I want to say it was last summer. It was last year sometime, I think. She messages me and says, compliance contacted her and said, by me having the links in my videos, it's violating terms and conditions. Obviously, if I would have known that, I would have never put the links in my videos. And what I didn't quite understand was, why don't you want advertisement for the product, right? But I, I don't know all the ins and outs of all of that. So she said, you have to remove those links. And I'm like, oh my God, this is videos worth two or three years worth of videos. And I should have done my research a little bit further as to removing stuff because I deleted a ton of videos. I just went and deleted the videos because I didn't know how else. And I also didn't have the time to go in and say, go into each video, go into each description and just delete the color street links. There, that would have been so entirely time consuming 
for hundreds of videos, basically. So I wound up just, because you can delete like a mass of videos at one time. I think you can do like 50 at a time. So I spent like work breaks on a day doing this. And then someone messaged me like the next day and was like, you could actually have searched for or gone into, I forget exactly what they said, but there was a way. And like I said, I blame myself for me to just go in and delete the link without deleting the video. Anyway, I was just salty about having to do that because I feel like I brought this consultant a lot of business and I was glad to do it because I will support and talk about any product I love. Why not? And the fact that I had to go and get, I mean, three years worth. Are you kidding me right now? So it was like a thousand videos. So yeah, I was just salty. I was, and that's why I have not used color street since then. Um, like I said, not that I'll never not use it again because they have amazing designs. The product is awesome. And I panicked during that time when she told me like, you know, you got to delete these links. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to get sued here or something. So that's why I was just hasty and deleted the videos like that day that she told me. Um, but yeah, it was unfortunate, but you bounce back. I, I have many videos on my channel again and it is what it is, right? But yeah, that is why. <laughs> so this weekend is Father's Day. So I am having breakfast with my dad on Sunday. I I get my stepfather a card, which I will probably mail on Thursday. And then I got my dad a gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. Because, you know, in previous years, I have been completely against buying gift cards for people. Because I feel like it, I felt like it was very impersonal. But ever since watching the Minimalist podcast or listening to it, watching their YouTube videos. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to pause. Right here. So did you see where I brushed away? So what happens is when you color, when you burnish, like when you really dig in and get rid of the tooth of the paper, little crumbs that's the best way I can describe it will form from the pencil and you don't want to just take your hand and sweep it because you will smear it on your page and ask me how I know that so I got an old makeup brush washed it cleaned it and I will brush away the crumbs and it works perfect absolutely you could use even like an old like um powder brush, blush brush, you know, I just use an old um, eyeshadow brush that I have. But yeah, that, no, you don't want to just sweep it. And there's an edge there, like there's a border on this picture that I don't really mind getting colored pencil on because what I do is I will take a gel pen and go all the way around that and color that. But yeah, this is going to go in my portfolio that I have. Because I still have spots for probably 10 more pictures in it. And what I think I'll do is I'll just buy another portfolio and just be filling portfolios instead of keeping them in the book. What's nice about Hannah Lynn's books, at least the artist edition, is she gives you two pictures of the same one. Like one is the original artwork and then the next one, and I'm doing this one, is a closer up version of it. And uh, the picture is... There, there is that, that dark thing you're seeing in the middle is the shadow of my tripod. So just to let you know that it's not like discolored in the middle. Um, but yeah, Father's Day. So gift cards. So ever since of decluttering all of my stuff and um, I'm going to be buying everybody gift cards now. Christmas is going to be so much easier on me. It seriously is. Um, I won't have to do all this wrapping. What I'll do is I'll just buy a bunch of Christmas cards, put the gift cards in a Christmas card. Um, and you know, I was mailing gifts to Jill the past two years, mailing gifts to my brother. It's going to just be so much easier. Now I probably would not get Jill's kids a gift card, but I might because she takes them to Target and that way they can pick out what they want. So I might do that. I might just say, Hey, you know, just going to get them a gift card. 
Because I know if I was their age, I would have loved a gift card. Um, I told Bill, I have a couple things on my Amazon wish list. Um, I have some colorist books that are like technique in coloring. I have some Posca paint pen set that I want and the digital photo frame. Um, but besides that, you know, I want, I told him, I said, Etsy gift card, Amazon gift card so I can buy books or I can buy makeup or I can buy what I want in Etsy so I can buy cross stitch patterns when I want to. I'm really trying to go through what I have and stitch what I have and not buy any. I haven't bought a cross stitch pattern in a long time. Very proud of myself for that fact. And the New Jersey retreat is in a month. A month. I can't believe it. It's almost here already. Um, I will go to Needleworkers Delight. But I'm not planning on buying anything. I'm serious. I really am not. Um, we'll see. So that's all I really have to share with you. Besides a small miracle story. Isn't that background turning out fantastic? I love those three shades. Oh my God. And where I even got the color combination, I can't even take credit for it. It was on Pinterest. Pinterest has... So many color combinations for Prismacolor pencils. It's amazing. All right. Prismacolors are my favorite pencils. Okay, this story is really short. So that's good because I only recorded myself coloring for a half hour while I was watching the end of Rounders. That movie Rounders. Love that movie. I own it. All right. Smoke poured out from under the front hood of the black stretch limousine as it sped down the highway. I have a funny story. I'm going to try to tell you really quick. This, sto this story is only two pages. When Bill and I went to Atlantic City a couple years ago, we went for a weekend. We stayed at the resorts casino and I had bought us tickets to a magic show at the Tropicana, which we took a cab to because you couldn't walk it. It would have been miles. Not to mention the show was going to be until like 11 p.m. So we were planning to take a cab back to the hotel. So we walk outside and like the guy is there that like gets you stuff. And Bill's like, you know, we need a cab. And uh, we had now before we had talked to that guy. Across the way, there was a limousine. And Bill's like, oh, there's our ride. Well, no, wait a minute. We saw the limousine. The guy was parked, okay? The cab driver, the cab driver, the guy that works at the hotel that stands out there, the what, the Som Sommelier, Sommelier, I forget how you pronounce that. It's like the concierge almost. He says, okay, I'll, I'll get you guys a cab. Well, while we're waiting, Bill's like, oh, there's our ride over there, the limousine. Well, the limousine, like right after he said that, comes around the corner and stops in front of us. And the guy's like, "Would you do you, do you want to take this limousine? And we were like, huh? The limousine was um, a guy that did it on his own. The limousine was not brand new. It was kind of beat up, but it was still a limousine. This guy was the most, one of the most awesome people I think I've ever met in my life. You know how sometimes you meet people like that? This guy took the long way back and just was telling us all these stories of who he had had in his limousine. It was awesome. We didn't even care about paying the, you know, the extra money for the ride. We have told that story to so many people because we were just blown away. Like, oh my God, we're taking a limousine back. Like, it was hilarious. And I think he only charged us like, I don't know, 10 bucks. I mean, it was cheap. Cheap, right? But he has an inn like with that hotel because he just sits out there waiting for people to need a ride back. Yeah, we love Atlantic City. I wouldn't venture outside of the casino area, though. I don't think it's a really good area. Anyway. Okay. So smoke poured out from under the front hood of the black stretch limousine as it sped down the highway. Louis, or Louis, the limousine chauffeur, pulled over to the side of the road to flag down assistance. 
Concern and worry were written on his face. He stood in the cold rain and frantically waved a flashlight in the air, hoping to draw people to his plight. It was futile. Most drivers slowed down to catch a glimpse of the stalled limousine, but then blithely continued on their way. Robert Wise was the exception. He noted the chauffeur's predicament and felt compelled to come to his aid. He drove up to the shoulder of the road, peered out his window, and asked how he could help. Would you please call my boss and tell him my situation, asked the chauffeur, and then could you please let me know what he says? No problem, came the cheerful reply. Lewis then provided Robert with the name of his boss, Mr. Cavendish. I think these names, when they have an asterisk, they've been changed. So these aren't these real people's names. So he provided Robert with the name of his boss, Mr. Cavendish, and a phone number. Robert got back on the highway, drove to the nearest service station, and made the call. A short time later, Robert returned. He relayed a message from Mr. Cavendish and then turned on his engine ready to continue on his way home. Wait, Lewis called out to him. How can I thank you? Oh, please, it was nothing, replied Robert. No, you must tell me how I can thank you, the chauffeur insisted. It was really nothing, came the reply, but if you care to, you can send a dozen roses to my wife for her birthday, which is next week. Robert gave Lewis his address and the two men departed. The following day, the chauffeur told his boss what had happened on the road. He described how difficult it had been to get assistance and how glad he had been when a kind stranger finally stopped to help. And all the man asked for were flowers for his wife, concluded the chauffeur. Mr. Cavendish listened and was touched by Robert's modest request. He took the address and said, leave the rest to me. Within the next few weeks, Mr. Cavendish arranged for flowers to be sent to the wise home. But that was not all. For years, the couple had been struggling financially and were threatened with foreclosure. They were now blessed with a generosity of spirit. In addition to the dozen red roses, Mr. Cavendish graciously paid off the mortgage on their house. Wow! Okay, so to me, there was no comment at the end of that. To me, that proves that you don't know the ramifications truly of a kind gesture. So please do not... Do not uh, don't hesitate to do something kind for someone. What I try to do is I trust my gut. I trust my instinct because I will be honest, it is hard to trust people. Like to pull over if you see someone stranded because there are scams where people are just trying to get you and they will either rob you or you know what I mean? It is hard. Trust your instinct though. And don't be afraid to do something kind for someone. Okay, that was, I got a phone call, so I apologize for that noise. I should have put my phone on airplane mode, but I didn't. All right, so how are we going to continue to unfuck ourselves in 2022? Good tear. Isn't this background turning out so fantastical? All right, so for today, Tuesday, June 14th, True strength doesn't come from your character, but from your willingness to go beyond it. Let me tell you, your character is shown when things are not going your way, right? When things are going good, it's very easy to be happy and gracious and all of that. When things are not going your way is when you see someone's true character. Yeah. I wanted to tell you guys something really quick. There's a new lip balm. I'm like a lip balm fanatic. Like, you know, always trying to find these tinted ones, but not spending a lot of money. The makeup brand Milani has a line of lip balms that are fairly new and they're called Fruit Fetish. And when I was in CVS the other day, they had the Blueberry Acai. I picked that one up. That's the only one they had. I really wanted to try the strawberry lemonade one, but it has a sheer tint of color. It smells like fruit. It tastes like fruit. And the blueberry acai is the darkest one they have, but it gives a good tint on the lips. Like it looks like you have lip gloss on. I really like it. So 
I really wanted to try the lemonade one though. Maybe if I go back to CVS and see it in there, I'll pick it up. But yeah, the picture is turning out so fantastic. But okay, I know I have like six more minutes of recording. I basically just finished that section and then I stopped the video. But I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Today is actually Flag Day, apparently. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and spending about 25 and a half minutes of your time with me today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.